Good morning and welcome to day eight, which means we are exactly one week in into every single day filming, editing and uploading and posting these videos for you guys. In this past week, we have managed to put on the sacrificial keel, the reinforcement plates down over by the propeller. We've managed to work a bunch of on engines. We've managed to work a bunch on the 24 volt panel. We've put that bimini on, which is a kind of a bonus. We've done a lot of corking. Well, Nico's done a lot of corking and um, adding the corking compound. And there is so much more to go still. Fear not, there is still gonna be so much content because if that was it, we would already be in the water. We've got so much to do still. I'm gonna go shopping for that epoxy resin to paint the sacrificial keel, which I still haven't done just because we were out of epoxy. And it means I have to cross the ferry and go for a drive to a shop that works with fiberglassing. Remember a while ago, I made these chain plates that go over here. However, I couldn't send them next door to get bent into the angles for me to fasten because they were on holiday. Now that they're back and I am at this stage where I can continue, I think I'm gonna start working on that. While I am on the other side of the river, I'm gonna to go to the bronze casting workshop to get the through holes for the heads as well. So that's two inlets and two outlets, one inlet and one outlet per head for the toilet. I just need to look up the ideal size for it and then later when we're in the water we can do all the installing, the attaching and so on. All I need to do is make sure that it has a valve or a that I can shut it off. So that's gonna be today. Uh, you know how this goes. This is my assumption, my provision. Do you say that? No, not provision. This is what I think is gonna happen. However, it can always change. It might even start raining at like 9 a.m. We'll see. So let's get as much done as possible today. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. It's just a click of the button. Also, I've seen a few of you comment that you guys got unsubscribed automatically for some reason. So just click on our channel and see if you are still subscribed. I don't know what happened there. It means a lot to us and like this video. And most of all, enjoy. might have heard Nico working away on deck with the caulking iron and a bit of caulking cotton. And speaking of cotton, look who just arrived. Well, don't look who just arrived, I'll tell you. Mita, the one who is gonna caulk the last line under the, between the keel and the last or the lowest plank. So once that's done, we can fill it with fairing compound. Then except for the through holes, it's practically ready for anti-fouling. Passar ali que fura a madeira, pica pau. Yeah, woody woodpecker. É. Yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> woody woodpecker. Woody woodpecker. Mm. Yes, pica pau. Ah, é o pica pau. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that from the time lapse. He went over it with one, two, three, and he's going over it with the fourth one to make sure the seam is nice and full. Then he's gonna go over it with the fifth one, which is gonna be a slightly different material, slightly harder to top all this up, and then the fairing compound, the caulking compound goes on it. Today I wanna to do two jobs in particular. One is going to get the through holes, and one is try and get the measurements of the angle of the chain plates made and sent over just to get them bent. If I can do that, I'll already be super happy because when I woke up this morning, it said it would start raining at five. Now it says it's start, gonna start raining at four. Oh yeah, and we need to get some fairing compound on the roof, on the deck as well. 
So we're coming here with some big tarps to cover that up as well just in case it does rain sooner but we have to do that. Uh, those are the three jobs that I want to get done today including this one which is just going to be going by itself. I'll be coming down now and then to show you the progress. Instead of putting one thread on everything, he's putting all four and he's going all along. So that gives me the opportunity to start adding the fairing compound, corking compound a bit sooner instead of having him and instead of having to wait for him to do the whole boat. Four chain plates are in place with the help of Nita who hammered it up a little bit because they are quite firm and tight in there. The neighbors, I don't know, they're having a bonfire. So it smells a bit smoky here. But Nikos is passing the ethanol through these seams. Give it about 10, 20 minutes with this heat, everything evaporates. This is just to clean it and leave it a bit oil free. And then we're gonna pass the uh, corking compound in. And that's gonna be fun because literally where I need to be standing for this, there won't be any corking compound. Let's see on the other side if I'm gonna be stepping in it the whole time. Yep, definitely. I'm gonna be working over here and there's gonna be corking compound under me, so I have to be a little bit careful. Anyway, let's go down and measure those angles. Okay, I've got these four of, uh, chain plates of the main mast. I've got the line drawn where it has to be bent and then also the angle at which it has to be bent. So it's a rough, it's not rough, it's quite accurate this angle and uh, as I'm tightening onto here, the sin, the tabika and then the bulwark, it's all gonna just kind of squeeze into place and then we can start working on the shrouds, which is quite exciting. It's a good test for the main mast and then the Four masks, we can uh, do the same thing. I'm just gonna send these next door so then I can go off and do some shopping while I know some production, something productive is happening. Today is flowing slightly different than usual as I spent most morning looking and learning and filming and helping out Mito with the caulking. Then I was helping Nico on deck quickly with the uh, caulking and the cleaning of the deck. Then I went shopping for really, really cool stuff. I just got some epoxy resin, epoxy resin for the 
sacrificial keel and then hopefully some leftovers. I got some polyester resin, which you'll see in a bit while I got it. Some orange paint for the electronical panel, which we're using. A bunch of random things for fiberglassing. And I also got a set of through holes inlet for the toilet and a set of through holes outlet for the toilet. Now, why did I get two of each? I don't want to have both toilets connected to one inlet and one outlet. They are so far away from each other and I don't want to have you know what flowing through some long hoses. In my opinion, from the toilet, short hose out is the best. Like, get that shit out of there. So I'm going to head down out and finish the keel, sacrificial keel, once and for all. Meet with caulking, Nico's going over it with caulking compounds and I'm going to finish painting the sacrificial keel with epoxy resin. All the work up till now that we were literally just doing has caught up to Nico with the caulking compound has caught up for the corker. I've already epoxied the entire sacrificial keel. So we are just literally gonna now, you can see where we've been already with the caulking compound on the bow, on the deck. We're gonna just continue over here. Some small little seams that opened a tiny bit, but we don't wanna risk anything. Down here as well. It opened a little bit, so Nico just removed the corking compound and added some more corking and we're just going to finish or top up with more corking compound just here, just from halfway after it also opened for some reason. And uh, it's going to be a bit messy. We used to do it with a spatula, now we're going to use uh, baking bags, icing bags to just use a little bit less than with a spatula. Without further ado, let's put you guys down here, then grab a bag, get that compound and uh, Seal this off, seal the deal.
the starboard port and bow and saloon area deck and have cork and have the corking compound on so no water should get in. The reason why we did this now and why it's urgent, why we had to do it now before heading into the water is meter downstairs is corking the entire keel line. We left that line uncorked, that seam uncorked in case water did get in, rainwater, and it could just escape through there or if we spilt something inside or whatever. Now that he's corking down there, this had to be done quite urgently. So now it's allowed to rain and our bilge won't fill up. Today didn't feel the same as other days where we literally had an entire sacrificial keel added or we had a through hull added or we had the engine ready or what else? You know, the metal plate, that was all visually very productive, but this was super important. But one thing that happened today though that I didn't show you yet and they just came to bring it is that Bruce and Lee took our four chain plates of the, let me see, I'm not standing on corking there four chain plates of the main mast and they added that little bend on the bottom they closed one of the holes and polished this so tomorrow i think i'll be installing four of those and trying to connect the shrouds to that main mast i've also got the through holes for the two heads so tomorrow will be a visually productive day again but this is literally what we said we will do and be honest and show you every single day of this build no matter how it is and today is finished i hope you enjoyed it Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't liked this video yet, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our daily videos. You'll just get a little notification saying, yeah, but I just posted a video. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and if you want, click on that bell icon to get those notifications as well. And see you guys tomorrow where we're gonna do some very visually changing jobs. The other day we showed you lasers. Now, I'm gonna show you. Hmm? Oh, a squirrel! Well, that was not a creature I was actually looking for. I wanted to find the lazy bugger having a beer in the shade. <laughs> this is just so that I can justify that this beer mini was necessary. It's not up completely yet because we need to fix the shrouds, we need to put them further back, but. How is that? Enjoying your own bimini. <laughs> 10 out of 10? It's back to front, so I'd say 7 out of 10. For now. Enjoy it!